This is a tutorial on how to use the FTP in Dreamweaver. What I've done is I've logged on to Zimic and they are a web host that is free and they allow you to use FTP which is quite rare. They also have PHP and MySQL which is another rarity in a free host. So what I've done is I've created an account and I've logged on and they've given me these details in terms of the FTP. So what I'm going to do is go to Dreamweaver and of course I've already set up my site properly so I've already, if I've already got my site I just go to manage sites and I want to edit this current site here. It's called 11 Multi so what I'm going to do is I'll just go cancel for a second and move this one out of the way. Okay so I'm going to go to manage sites and I'm going to edit and I'm going to copy down a lot of the information here. So what is the HTTP address of my site? That's this one here. So I'm going to type in HTTP 11multi.zzl.org. Now I still don't want to use server technology. I still want to edit co copies on my local machine and this is the place where I've stored those copies. But this time I want to use FTP to connect to the remote server. The host name is down here, 11multi.zzl.org. Ignore the what folder on the server do you want to store your files in at the moment. Um, what is my FTP logon? My FTP logon is my username here, which is 11multi underscore zzl. And my password is the one that I entered when I signed up. Now, if I test the connection now, might take a couple of seconds. I need some wake music. And it says that I've connected to the web server successfully. If I haven't, there could be a couple of reasons. The first one might be that I've entered in any information wrong, or you might be behind a firewall or connecting through a proxy server, and that can add some difficulties to the setup. If I go next, no, I do not want to enable check-in and check-out still, and done. And done here. Now, if you notice on the files box here in Dreamweaver, so we're in Dreamweaver now, not uh, the browser, They've got this little button here on the files and if you connect to that it shows you both your remote site which is on the internet and your local files. So the first thing I want to do is I want to click this button on the toolbar and that will connect me to my site and tell me exactly what's on the site. This side here is your local files so that's what's on your computer and this one here is what's, what's actually on the internet. So again we'll just wait a second. Okay, so here I've got an index file and here I've got an index file. So all I'm going to do is just click on the files that I want to transfer and just click put file. Now, independent files are those files that are like images and things within your website, cascading style sheets, flash files that need to be transferred over in order to show the page properly. So I'm going to hit yes. In this case, I don't actually have any though. So at the moment what's happening in the background is it's just putting the um, information across. Now the good thing about this having this in Dreamweaver is that um, basically you just have your site here all the time and you don't have to set up that FTP all the time at all. So I never have to go to this many sites again unless I change my, um, oops, my um, hosting details. So what I'm going to do now is go to my website. And I've just got a very, very basic web page here. But it shows you the basics of transferring a file across to the internet using Dreamweaver. 